headquartered business lender in the region. We're WSFS Bank and we stand for service. How can we help your business grow? To learn more, visit WSFSBank.com. Member FDIC. Headlines. Headlines. You can't get through your day without. On Power 1017. All right. So members of the George Floyd family met with President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris at the White House yesterday. That's and great. rallies and events were held in several U.S. cities to mark the one-year anniversary of Floyd's death at the hands of Minneapolis police. They spoke uh, about continuing to work for passage of the George Floyd's Justice and Policing Act reform legislation. With Floyd's nephew, Brandon Williams, saying Biden told them, quote, he just wants the bill to be meaningful and then holds George's legacy intact. Biden also spoke about, quote, the hard reality that racism has long torn us apart. Some other Floyd family members attended the events in Minneapolis, where he passed, along with Mayor Jacob Fry. There were also rallies, moments of silence, and other events in other cities, and even in other countries as well. Wow, I'm sure that was so emotional. Half of all U.S. adults have now been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Mm-hmm. Okay? Half. That's incredible. Incredible. That's according to data out yesterday from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. White House senior advisor called it a major milestone in a press briefing. The pace of vaccinations has also started to rise again after falling to a record low last month with state and local officials saying it's due to parents getting their children vaccinated after Pfizer's vaccine was approved for minors 12 and older earlier this month. The increase also uh, is coming as states and businesses have been offering incentives for people to get vaccinated with some states, for instance, giving out lottery prizes. And Mm -hmm. Delaware just announced that. We'll have that story in a second. But, you know, Maryland's doing the lotto, among others. So there you go. And speaking of the vaccine, Moderna said yesterday that its COVID-19 vaccine was 100% effective in children ages 12 to 18 in the latest clinical trials. 100% effective. And there were no significant safety concerns. Moderna will submit the results to the U.S. government uh, regulators and request that the vaccine be authorized for use in that age group. Currently, only the Pfizer vaccine has been authorized for uh, children ages 12 and up. Pfizer said it will likely seek an emergency use authorization for its vaccines uh, in children ages 2 to 11 in September. So there you go. But just some incredible milestones being met. Mm -hmm. I know Maryland recorded another uh, record low. Uh, yesterday, I believe. That's great. So just, just incredible. We're moving forward. Let's keep it moving. Jess, you got some stories. Yep. Delaware announces the incentive program for those vaccinated against COVID-19. Yes. So Governor John Carney and the Delaware Division of Public Health announced the launch of Delaware Wins. And that is an incentive program aimed at increasing COVID-19 vaccination rates in Delaware. We are told that Delawareans age 12 and up. If you are vaccinated from May the 25th through June the 29th and any Delawareans ages 12 to 17 vaccinated to date will be entered to win $5,000 in cash and additional prizes in twice weekly drawings held by the Delaware Lottery. Other prizes include a four day vacation, a full scholarship to a public Delaware university, annual Delaware State Park passes, tickets and camping at the Firefly Music Festival and also prize packages from partners including Funland, the Wilmington Blue Rocks, and the Delmarva Shorebirds. So the Delaware Lottery will conduct twice weekly drawings on Mondays and Fridays starting on May 31st through June 30th. We didn't win our 40000 right. by the way, yet. No. I mean, it just started. Okay. You know, I know. So we I got know. plenty. I think they started yesterday. They pulled the first name, right? Yeah, did not win our 40000 Gosh. But I'm waiting for the 400000 Oh, I know. On July 4th. Oh, I know. So, but, look, it's, but it's okay. If you I'll accept the 40, it's okay. Look, yeah, 40. <laughs> look, I'm not going to complain, you know. But, I mean, like, you know, but I'll, I'll prefer to wait for the 400. Okay. All right. So, you're going to be patient and stick it out. Yeah. You know, I don't have Not much. others have a chance. To I don't have much patience, but <laughs> for the 400, I might, I might stick it out. You're going to stick it out. So. <laughs> also... We've been keeping up on this investigation and this crash that happened in Milford. So the Delaware State Police say that they have arrested a man connected to the serious crash that happened on late Sunday afternoon in Milford. Police say that 18-year-old William Ackridge of Newark, Delaware, was taken into custody without incident at his residence by probation and parole officers. Uh, And they said that the troopers, you know, they identified him as the driver of the black 
Toyota Corolla after receiving information from probation and uh, parole about his location and this incident with his GPS ankle monitor. So they were able to charge him. He has been arrested with three counts of vehicular assault in the second degree, leaving the scene of a collision resulting in injury, reckless Mm. driving, driving without a valid license, and three counts of failure to stop at a red light. But that crash is still under investigation. And if anyone has any information, please call 302-703-3269 or the Delaware Crime Stoppers at 1-800-TIP-3333. And the biggest news of the day, Jess. What? The biggest of the day. What? Island Creamery in Berlin has teamed yeah. up with Burley Oak Brewing Company to bring you the first ever dream release. Yeah, it's the wow. uh, Peach Cobbler Sour Lactose Ale. Oh, we need to try it. <laughs> we need to try yes. this. The very creamy sour ale ice cream with peaches and a cobbler swirl. It's going to be available only in Berlin starting this Friday. Very limited amount. Mm-mm-mm. Two of our favorite places. Wow. Island Creamery and Burley Oak. Okay? So nice. just, that's the biggest news of the day. I'm just saying. Yes. It's a Bill and Jessica show. We got sports coming up. Here's Anita. I like this joint right here.